Welcome to Psych 7709G, using R for reproducible research. My name is Matt Crump. This is a getting started video for this semester. We are in spring 2022. This is the second installment of this R Stats and Methods course. Last semester, we went through all of these labs up here, and now we're in the second semester, and we're going to do all of these labs. It's actually Wednesday morning. I'll be seeing all of you in class in a moment. And we'll be talking about shaping data a little bit. And just like we do for all the labs last semester, at the end, there's a generalization problem. We're going to open up our studio, make an R Markdown document, and solve this problem. Now, last semester, I had you load your R Markdown documents up to a GitHub repository and that's how you submitted your work. We're going to be doing the same thing this semester, but we're going to add some bells and whistles. So for example, this is the course website, and if you notice, it's got some links. It's got links to the syllabus, links to the labs, links to other stuff. Here's some reference, some coding reference for R. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the semester-long project today. Links to that. This is actually the one from last year. I need to update this. So this course website is a way to disseminate all sorts of different kinds of information. Here's a different website, but it looks kind of the same. You might have seen websites that look like this if you're looking around the internet for R packages. This is the package down website. This is a R package that's used to make websites for R packages. It's a little meta. But uh, I'm actually using the very same tool to make this website. As a, another example, this is my lab website. I also made this using R. I didn't use package down. So there's multiple ways that we can make web assets and put them out there for other people to see. Here's one more. So in the context of psych research, you know, you could use this set of tools to communicate uh, a research project. So here I've used a package down website and I'm instead of uh, serving an R package, I'm serving a PDF of a paper that I wrote, as well as supplementary materials. This involved a bunch of simulation work. And if you want to see how I did all that stuff in R, you can get all that code right there. So this is another example of using the same suite of tools to show off your stuff. As a final point, I've been interested in talking about these issues. So uh, collaborator and I, Maddie Vore, we made an R package called Vertical, and we wrote a paper about using these R tools in a psych research context to communicate research. For example, here's a little picture of uh, some of these websites we've been looking at. And you can imagine a website that serves a PDF of the paper, supplementary materials, maybe slide decks, a poster, perhaps experiment scripts, functions for data analysis, all, all of those things in one of these websites. So I thought for the semester long project in our course that we're working on, which I still have to define, one of the things we'd be doing is learning how to use all of these kinds of communication tools, how to make websites, how to make slide decks and put them all together and make a portfolio to display the things that you've been doing this semester. So if we look at the syllabus, here we have it. Uh, we're in the first week talking about shaping data most weeks we'll spend two classes on the labs and one of the classes we'll use to actually do the lab assignment. Throughout the semester, there's time for the semester projects, which is a project we'll be working on across the semester. And uh, so more on this general stuff when we hit those points in the semester. However, throughout, I think it's a good idea to get used to this package down system. So today I'm going to show you uh, how to get started with the way I want you to submit your labs this semester. Okay, so we're about at the five minute mark. That's an intro to what I want to show you. The rest of this is a demo and it shouldn't take too long. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to load up our studio, make sure package down is installed. And I'm going to show you how to uh, put your first lab, uh, the R markdown for your very first lab, into one of these package down websites and get it on GitHub. And we'll talk about how we'll use this 
system of storing your files to submit work for the rest of the semester. Okay, I opened up R Studio. Now we're gonna make a new R project, that's important. I went to uh, up, up on the top right hand corner and I closed the project I was in. You can see that if you're not in a project, it's, it'll say project none. So let's go ahead and make a new R project. I'm gonna click this new project option. Normally we would make a new directory and a new project. That's what we did last semester. This semester, we're gonna choose a different option. We're gonna choose the R package option. So give this a name. I'm going to put in 7709 semester project. 2022. That's kind of a long title, but oh well. You'll find that you cannot use spaces in here for the package name. So we're going to create that project. Oh, and it's telling me I can't do that. It starts with a number. It needs to start with a letter. Okay, fine. I'm going to do this again. Semester project, all one word, uh, 7709, that, that should be fine. Okay, we've got that loaded up. So very briefly, this is a template for making R packages. That is a place where you can go into this R folder. As you can see, there's a, a file here, hello.r. If you were to add more files like this into this folder, they would get compiled into an R package. You can test that out by going up and pressing build, install and restart. And what's going to happen here is you will create an R package with the name of your uh, project. So if you go into the packages list where you see all the other stuff that you download for R, you should see uh, one for the, the thing you just made. There it is, semester project 7709. So we're using the skeleton for making our packages. We're gonna add to this skeleton and make it do some other things for us. So here's the first thing to make sure you have package down installed. You could go here to install, type in PKG, D-O-W-N, and install that if you haven't done so already. You can double check that you have it by going and searching for it. So I already have this thing. There it is. It's, it's ready to go. Step number one, or whatever step we're on, let's build that website. It's very easy. We just run one line of code, package down, we're going to use the build underscore site command. That's it. One line. What this command is doing is it's reading in the files from the R package and it's building a whole website for them. Here's the website. We're previewing it right now. There's not many things here. There's just that one hello world function and it's actually created a page called reference with the help file for that function. So this is uh, normally used for communicating an R package to the world, but we're going to sort of hack the package down website and, and we're going to communicate our lab work to the world as a starting point. And then throughout the semester, one goal is to keep adding more tabs and communicate all sorts of other things using R tools. The second step involves creating an R Markdown document for our first lab. Now, we're going to do this in a particular way and put it in a particular place. This is called the Vignettes folder. There is no Vignettes folder in here. We could just make one, but I'm going to uh, show you how to do it using a package called Use This. So if you don't have that installed, it's all one word, use, 
this. That's what it looks like. Use this. Uh, I'm not sure if I have that installed, so I'm just going to go install it right now. It's a very helpful package. And it's kind of got a fun name. We're going to use this to, to help us make things that we need. For example, I'm going to type use this two colons, and now I'm inside that package and I can look for individual functions in there. And I want to use underscore, and I'm looking for the word vignette. There it is, use vignette. This is a function uh, that will create a vignettes folder and it will put a new R Markdown document in there with the name of my choice. I'm going to use two quotes. I'm going to put lab one and press enter. So what happened is we made a new vignettes folder, which you could have made by hand. And we put lab1.rmd or it made that file for us and it loaded it up into the editor. Here it is. I'm just going to go and type, hello, this is my first lab. Um, whoops, I'm not sure what I just did there. I accidentally collapsed all the code. You could make an R chunk, you could do one plus one or whatever you want to do. So this is just an example of writing stuff into an R markdown document like we normally would do. So now that we have our lab one R markdown document inside the vignettes folder, let's see what happens when we run the package down build site function one more time. So here we go. It doesn't take too long to, to work. We'll see the preview of the website. Notice it's writing vignettes for lab one. So when the website pops up, we have a new tab. This was automatically made for us, and it's got a link to that R Markdown document called Lab 1. So we're going to be using this system throughout the semester. You'll be adding Lab 1, Lab 2, Lab 3, Lab 4, Lab 5, and it will appear down this list. It will look a lot like this because this is the same way that I'm making the labs for the course website. Okay, the last piece here is getting all of your work onto the web so that you can share it with the world. You'll need to do this so that you can submit the URL to me so that I can grade your work. We're going to use GitHub and you've been using that last semester. It's basically the same process this semester with one little difference to get this website to show. First thing we want to do is make sure that your R project is Git enabled. If it is and everything's working correctly, you should see a tab up here, Environment History Connections Build Tutorial. You should see a tab that says Git. Then you'll know your folder is Git enabled. Mine is not. And actually, this is a new computer, and I'm about to try something that I hope works. So fingers crossed. Going into the console, I'm going to use this again, two colons, and use underscore G-I-T for use git. Let's see what happens if I run that. Okay, it's asked me some questions. Is it okay to commit all of these things? I'm going to say yes. Uh, yes, restart. So either I'm adding a three to make those choices. Don't save. Fingers crossed. Okay, great. It worked. We could see there's a Git tab right here. So I just enabled this R project to have Git version control. If I jump over to my uh, GitHub account, I've got lots of repositories, but none of them are called Semester Project 7709. It's not on here yet. So I need to get Semester Project 7709 up to the cloud. I'm going to use GitHub Desktop to do that. This is the same program we've been using last semester. Here's GitHub Desktop. I'm going to, let's see, I need to click that and say, I want to add an existing repository. So I'm going to add an existing repository. And I need to figure out 
where I put this thing, Semester Project 7709. For me, I stored it on my desktop. So let me go to the desktop of this computer. There it is, Semester Project 7709. Click that folder. And because I Git enabled it, I can add it as a repository. And it's showing up on my list of repositories. Now this is still locally on my computer. And if I want to publish it to GitHub, I can click the button Publish Repository. Make sure you unclick Keep This Code Private. We want to make this code public so we can serve the website. Then we simply publish the repository. Now we've got a connection between the repository on our computer and the repository on github.com. And we can push and pull changes. If we go to the website, I should be able to find this repository that I just made. Let me see if I could search for it. It shows up at the top because it's a new one. You can click this. We could see we've got all the files that we made. Here's vignettes. Here's lab one that we were just working on. And that website that package down creates for us, all of the files for that website, they've been placed into the docs folder here. Conveniently, GitHub allows you to serve websites from your repository, including from the docs folder. To enable this, go into settings, find pages, and then right here we can choose uh, let's see, it's disabled, so we need to choose a branch, master branch. I'm going to choose the docs folder and press save. And you will get a URL. You can take this URL, pop it into your browser, and what you should be able to see is the website that you made. Uh, I would usually give this at least 20 to 30 seconds before you try, you might get a 404 error. I happen to have a website situation where I need to enforce HTTPS. And so I think I need to do this URL with a HTTPS in front of it. All right, now it says my site is published here at HTTPS worldwideweb.crumplab.com semester project 7709. Let's find out. I'm going to click this button. And look at that. We are now looking at a package down website. If you all tried this link, you should be able to see it too. We could see the beginnings of lab one. And uh, just FYI, this URL, which I could, I'm just going to scroll down just a little bit here. You're going to want to be able to access this for yourself, copy that, and then submit it on Blackboard for the first lab. We'll talk more about this in class today, and this is just a reference video for you to follow along with these steps. So, I will see you in an hour and a half. Alright, that's it for now.